Space Community, and welcome back to another World Tanks called Sophia. So, in this video, I'm gonna have another tank review for you. So, I'm gonna be reviewing the Sturm VK 3601H MIT 1005 centimeter. <laughs> and I will be comparing it to the VK 3601H and the T 150. And you wonder what, what I'm using, it's going to be the World Tanks Xbox Guide. I will also leave a link in the description if you want to use this website for yourself. Because you can compare three tanks, up to three tanks at a time. And if I can, I will be using this for now on, if y'all like this way better. Just tell me in the comments section if you do. So, let's just get on with it. So, starting right here. VK is right here, and the T-150 is right here. They're all three tier 6s. The hit points of the Sturm and the VK are at 950, compared to the 880 on the T-150. Now, the weight, weight of these tanks. The T-150 has the most weight. The 4 speed is 46 on the Sturm, 50 on the VK, and 35 on the T-150. The Sturm has the slowest reverse speed at 10, VK's at 12, and the T-150's at 11. Okay, I know it doesn't say it on here, but the power to weight ratio. So one thing I don't like about this website. The power to weight ratio for the Sturm is 13.97. The VK is at 14.52, and the T-150 is 12.89. So T-150 has the worst. Then Sturm, then the VK. You could buy the Sturm for 4,125 gold. It has a 30% silver bonus and a 30% XP bonus. It gets a commander, driver, gunner, loader, and radio opera, like a lot of tanks do. But some tanks don't. Okay, stationary for all three tanks. For Kasumi is a 0.13. And the... Sturm has the best moving camouflage at 0 0.07. Oh yeah, here I can like select. It's like, hey, you put camo on your tank? I can do that for you. See? I can make my camo go. Load. See? It went up. It went way up. It went to 0.38. Okay. I'm not here to show you what this website can do, so. And here, if you're wondering what package is this, it's like, hey, this is stock. It's a stock premium tank because it's a premium tank. This is fully upgraded. This is on the fourth package. And this is on the fifth package. And engine. The Sturm and the VK gets a tier 6 engine. And go away. Yeah, go away. Engine power. I don't know if y'all seen that. But if you did, oh well. Gotta make sure I'm still recording. Engine power. It's 600. It's a measly 600 on the Sturm. Not as good as the T-150 at 700. Fire chance is the worst on the Sturm and the VK. So, the gun on the Sturm is a 10.5 centimeter. Uh, VK gets an 8.88 centimeter. And the T-150 gets a 107. The rate of fire for the Sturm is a 5.08. I should not highlight that because that's red, and y'all probably can't see it when I highlight it. It's 5.08. It does 350 damage per shot, and it has a DPM of 1,778. And the... Where did it go? The Sturm, I mean the VK, is 8.7 rounds per minute. Does 220 damage per shot and 1914 dpm, which is the highest in this comparison. The T150 gets 5.88 rounds per minute, does 300 damage per shot, and has a lowest of the dpms at 1764, which is only 14 less than the Sturm. Now, the VK. The reload time is the slowest on the Sturm because biggest gun. Well, not the biggest gun, it's the middle gun. Biggest alpha damage. Aim time is 2.3, which is the best in this comparison. 
alongside the VK. Accuracy is 0.43, which is in the middle. Better than the VK, but worse than the T-150. They're all single shots. The Sturm gets AP, Heat, and High Explosive. Unlike the other two, they get AP, APCR, and High Explosive. Now, Gun Depression is 8 degrees and 20 degrees going up. And that's better than the T-150 at Gun Depression, but not better at Gun Elevation. And the same on Gun Depression, but not Elevation on the VK. Penetration. Now, this is where this tank kind of falls behind because balancing reasons. Penetration on its standard round is 128. That's really bad compared to the VK, especially to the T150 with 167 millimeters of penetration. And it's even premium rounds are lacking behind at 177 compared to the VK and the 219 sweet thing sweet spot of the T-150 and the high explosive pin has 81 so you can go dirt little tier 4s or tier 5 tanks or anybody that has really weak armor for 410 damage this is your minimum penetration and maximum penetration minimum DPM maximum DPM and wait that's deep that's damage and uh, the tank turns at 20 degrees a second but well Better than T-150, but worse than the VK. And uh, the turret transverse speed is worse than in this comparison at 22 degrees a second. View range is 360. Compare, it's worse than the VK, but better than the T-150 at 330 meters. Has a tier six radio compared to the VK, tier nine, and the T-150 at tier 7. Signal range, 710. Same as the VK, but work, but almost double the T-150. Now we're getting to the armor. So, after I like talk about this armor for a second, I'm gonna show up pictures of the armor. Of how the armor is. Because I don't have an armor inspector on here. And the website I would use to do that is not loading the tank. So, yay. So I can't do that. So, sorry. Also, you gotta remember there's space armor on the turret of the Sturm. So, the Sturm has 100 millimeters at the front, which is the same as the VK, but worse than, wait, is the same of the VK, the frontal armor. Like, whole armor is the same for the VK, but better frontal, and better and worse side armor than the T-150. Oh, look at that side and side armor and rear armor. So nice. Turn armor. You have 80, 80 millimeters of armor in the front of your turn. Remember, you don't have space armor at the front of your turn, which is 20 millimeters less than your frontal turn. And your sides and rears are the same as your side and rear on your hole. You actually have weaker sides of you your tool your whole armor well turn armor is the worst in the in this comparison compared to the VK and the T150. Now the equipment I recommend on this tank is a gun rammer, gunling drive, crew vents to get that reload down because reload 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 I hate the reload in this tank. Consumables I use is a medkit, repairs, and the chocolate. So, that's enough stats. Now we get to go see this tank in action. Okay, so we're gonna end up on court. Top tier in a counter battle. And I go, I'm like, whoa, it's port! I hadn't seen this map in a while. I'm like, where you been, port? I missed you. Um, I had to retake this part because I was calling it Pilsen. I don't know why I was calling it Pilsen. Port is so much better than Pilsen, but this is Port. As you can see, I have 21 standard ammunition, uh, 21 standard rounds, 11 heat, and 10 high explosive. So, as you can see, the speed of this tank, it gives up to its speed 
Eh, I'm pretty good, but his turning speed is really, really bad. I've actually killed, like, guys on my team that were trying to back up, and I was trying to turn around, and turning speed was just terrible. Just complete, uh, just, yeah, just terrible. Here comes an A20. This A20, I should be able to one-shot if I roll good enough, but no. I did not. And the A20 actually comes us on the side. We actually have space armor on the side and the side of our turret. T28, I actually missed the shot. And there's an M6 over there. Hello, Mr. T28. I'm trying to, like, bounce shots from this T28. And he actually bounces off me, surprisingly. This tank actually does not have good, am uh, good armor, as you can see. Um, from the where I showed you the armor. I actually shot through the wall and actually hit the M6 in the side. Now that's a tank I'm actually very, very scared of because as you just seen, he just punched right through our armor. I think he just auto locked. He's just like, hey, armor. Now he actually ricocheted. People are actually ricocheting because they're actually hitting our heat, uh, space rock. There's a Matilda right there. Hello, Mr. Matilda. And there's the T14. Let's see if our standard rounds is strong enough to go through it. Well, if we actually hit the point we needed to. Now, we actually got a M6, a Mentilla, a M4, a D14, and a Churchill 7 coming after us. I think that's a 7. Maybe a 6. We actually one shotted the Mentilla. See, you have a chance of one shotting like lower tiers with your standard rounds. That chance goes higher when you like load high explosive. I'm actually been. We actually go through the side armor in the church shield 7. And he's actually pinning us. He actually pinned us through the turret right there. He's aiming for it. The space armor on the tank is actually only good for heat rounds. Heat rounds are high explosive. I have like people. We, I fight other sterns in this tank. They're usually firing heat rounds because they know how bad the penetration is. And when they're fighting, firing the heat rounds, they shoot my side armor or the side of my turret, and they hit the space armor, and they just get a sword to my armor. It's just kind of funny. It's like, haha, you suck. I was thinking about turning down that way, and I was like, wait a second, I can't turn that fast. This tank sucks at turning. It really does. I'm turning, I was turning right there. That's turning. It really... I can't stress how much this tank sucks turning. And the enemy artillery actually killed itself. And the T1 Heavy on our team just lost its life to the British Bulldog. And should we be able to make this turn? We do not make the turn, actually. Because we run right into the train. Because our, I can't stress that enough. You don't turn fast enough in this tank. So later on today, I'm going to have like reasons why you should get this tank, reasons why you shouldn't get this tank, and what my thoughts about this tank. Tank. And a video coming out later on today. So we actually made 88,000 silver because of times two silver boost that were happening on Monday. We got a steel wall and we also got first place with five kills and 2,668 damage. Alright guys, if you like this video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, remember to slash page because while you're not, and peace out. See ya.